Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you uh, show you all just how much meat you get back from a 340 pound hog. I got it all laid out right here. We just got back from the processor a little bit ago. Um, There's going to be a little bit uh, a, a different video, uh, not just about the the, uh, the hog meat, but I'm also going to show you guys we're getting ready to go on a big deer hunt down there to uh, Arms Family Homestead's uh, thousand acre ranch he's got down there and he's got some monster bucks and he's gonna let hayden he's gonna he's gonna put hayden on one and we cannot wait so i'll bring you guys along for that not in this video but uh, uh later on in a few days next week sometime whatever but right now um, i'm gonna show you guys uh putting uh sh i'll show you guys the uh, all the hog meat we got and then I, i'm actually gonna take daniel some in my new uh cooler down there i'll show you all that here in a minute let me get the sheet because it doesn't I don't think they told me exactly how many pounds I got back, but I'll read off to y'all real quick. I got a lot of stuff going on in the house too. You guys probably hear the music back there. Um, we got a busy, busy weekend and I'm not gonna be here for a few days, but I'll show you guys, I'll tell y'all just what all we got back uh, for uh, the hog. I got all the hog meat laid up on my tailgate right here. Got the truck cleaned out just a minute ago because we're getting ready to go on that trip. It's like, he lives about three and a half hours away, so it's gonna be a good little journey. But let me, let me just read off real quick what I got. Um, they don't have the total pounds. Uh, let's see here. This let me read off to y'all. So I got six packs of pork chops. Uh, they're about they're three quarter inch thick. Um, I got six per pack because there's five of us, so might as well just throw out six of them. Um, and you can get you. It might not sound like a lot, um, but it, it's quite a bit of meat. You can see it back here behind us. Behind us. Uh, two spare ribs. Uh, Twenty six pounds of uh, sausage. Uh, two pounds of pork fresh side. Um, that, that's the, uh, the, where they make the bacon. I'm going to, that's not actually two pounds, it's two packages. Um, but I'm going to be making my own bacon, uh, from this pork belly. So I have them, uh, cure half the pig and uncure the other half. Just not, just leave it alone so I can make my own. Never done that. Been wanting to do that for a long time. And I'm going to do it this year. And I will bring you guys along for that. Um, pork, I got the pork and liver and lard. Um, okay, bacon. I got it sliced thin and it's, uh, I'll show you a pack of it. This bacon looks awesome. Um, this is a red wattle uh, pig. I got, like I said, it's 340 pounds. And I got 10 packs of this bacon, which some of it's going to Daniel. Um, two ha big uh, ham roast, uh, 12 packs of uh, ham steaks, two ham hocks, and the gel. I got five packs of, uh, of gel. So, and this bacon, um, I got thick cut last year. I didn't really, I, it, it tasted great, but I didn't like the thickness. So I had them thin cut this year. And I think it's gonna be awesome. So that's basically it. Um, the hanging weight, I guess, was 230 pounds. It weighed 340. Uh, let's see here. Um, the pr it cost me 100 and let's see. It cost me 191 dollars to have it processed. Now, uh, in the future, once we get the house built, um, we're working on a house right here, and we got a barn that we live in right now. That's going to be um, the place where I'm going to start doing a lot of processing myself and all that. So once we get moved into the new house next year, I plan on processing at least one hog, one pig myself. And that'll be that'll be awesome. Um, so let's see here. It says 200. I guess that's 230 pounds of hanging weight, and then they 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 ground it up. 25 pounds of sausage curing yeah it's it's all there but um twenty dollars for the uh and twenty dollars for the kill um they, they charge you the 20 bucks to to dispatch the hog itself so that's what we got and i'll show you we got we got tons back i gotta get hurry up and put this in the deep freezer um it's actually really nice today. it's like 55 degrees um but i'm gonna load i'll show you this but i'm gonna load up some in this ice chest for daniel and i'm gonna do a little review on this ice chest uh, over the next few days because we i bought this new ice chest um, from academy just to go on this hunt because we hope to harvest the deer and put it in there and bring it back uh to uh to our town to my house you know like i said it's like three and a half hours away so good ice chest is always good to have let's check this out i mean that's just that's a lot of me that's a whole tailgate full you see all that it's awesome let's see let's give daniel some bacon you better throw a couple packs of bacon in there
right, so I got Daniel's uh, pork loaded up in the truck now. Uh, that one's broke. I'm bringing an extra uh, ice chest with me just in case Hayden gets that big one. And uh, we need something to put the cape in and, the, and all that. Um, so I'm bringing an extra one, but it's missing the plug on bottom. So it'll probably be fine still. But I got my new Magellan back here. And we're getting ready to head out to Sulphur, Oklahoma. Uh, so I'm going to get this stuff loaded up. And I'm trying to upload this video before we leave. So I'll probably see you guys when we get back. And we have a lot of updates on the house uh, coming. I might walk in there and just give you a quick uh, glimpse of it here in just a second. And probably won't talk a whole lot. Because um, i got to get this loaded up. we got to get on the road. I'm trying to get to his house before it gets dark. Uh, so I'll quit blabbing on right here and I hope you guys like the video of me just showing uh, just how much meat I got back from the 340 pound uh, hog we got it's the biggest one I've ever uh, raised and butcher and I got ice chest full for Daniel and his family I think they're really gonna enjoy it maybe we'll fry some up uh, this week and we'll see um, I'm gonna be filming a bunch while I'm up there uh, but probably won't get anything edited until uh, Sunday evening uh, into Monday so um, you guys probably won't hear from me again for a few days I'm gonna be MIA with Hayden and uh, we're gonna have a good time you know we'll bring you guys along uh, when we get back i guess you might say uh, all right guys thanks so much for supporting the channel stay uh, sticking with this this house build uh, my the daily videos have went down to more like weekly videos because we've just been so busy in the time change. You guys know how it is, uh, but it's, we're going to get back on track very soon. Um, th as soon as things uh, start to slow down for us, which is going to be a little bit, but um, we'll get back there. And you think you guys are really going to enjoy what we got going on. And uh, I'm going to do a little review on this ice too. Let me show you real fast. It's been a couple hours since I put this ice in there. Um, all the meat, I just opened it up. That's just ice from, from inside the house. All the meat's still frozen solid. So we'll make up the sulfur and get it in this freezer. Should be good to go. All right, guys. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Man, what a nice day. 
All right, we're going to head out and go see Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. If you guys aren't subscribed to Daniel, go subscribe to him. Check him out. Tell him I sent you. And plus, be standing by some, some for some videos uh, with us down there at his homestead. Um, he's got a lot going on. He grows a lot of his own vegetables, and we grow a lot of our own meat. So you might say, got a little bit of both worlds there. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.